When I wake up in the morning, I look forward to coming to work. I love what I do every day. You know, I'm energized, I'm happy to be here. Training out here in Stony Brook on Long Island is a unique experience because it's one of the only level one trauma centers. And so we can see a variety of cases, a variety of very critical acute cases um, that come in through the ED. The only academic center within about 100 miles, so all the acute pathology comes to you. We get to work with internal medicine, we work with emergency medicine, we work with the surgical staffing. So it's great when we transition into the OR, we already know all of these different individuals and we work very well with them. I'm originally from the Bahamas. Um, I went to Duke University in North Carolina. Um, after that, I went to University of Miami, Miller School of Medicine and I ended up at Stony Brook to pursue uh, an anesthesiology residency. I'm originally from California. I actually went to UCLA for undergrad, and then I went to Jefferson Medical College in, Je in Philadelphia, which is why I ended up on the East Coast. I went to medical school in the city at NYU School of Medicine. What I find in this medium-sized program is the fact that you get individualized teaching from the attendings. You will get the acute pathology without the hectic lifestyle of an urban environment. As part of residency, you want to be exposed to very challenging cases so that by the time you graduate as an attending, you feel prepared for anything. And you also develop the mental power and the mindset to be able to deal with those challenging cases. When I was a medical student, I didn't really think too much about how having fellows would influence my time in the OR. But here, not having fellows, I'm able to get a lot of my procedures done in things like pediatrics, acute pain, regional, very early on into my academic career. We get a really good one-on-one -on -one training with the attendings, and we see a huge diversity of cases, and we do all the procedures ourselves. The residents are in charge of all the complex pathology. You'll be exposed to anesthetizing a one-day-old uh, neonate. You'll have really, really complex pathology in the cardiac uh, anesthesia room as well. You know, right away we're, we're hands-on. They're having us doing procedures, intubations, IVs, A-lines. You know, we really have good communication and relationships with uh, our program director, assistant program director, chairman, uh, everyone on every level is really receptive uh, to our needs. They know us on an individual basis. Anesthesia residency is not Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Uh, it's actually 365 days of the year, 24 hours a day. There's always anesthesia residents working at the hospital. So I feel as a program director, my job is to be there for them. And that may be on the off hours, on weekends, or, or holidays. My job is to make each resident the best that he or she can be, and to make the learning environment um, as best that it can be. She's always a uh, text, phone call away, anything we need. Our attendings are always looking out for us. They're always making sure that we're getting out on time, always making sure that uh, we have enough support when we're studying for large exams. We're fortunate to have Academic Wednesdays, so each class has a full day dedicated for lectures every three weeks. So we don't have to worry about being in the OR. We don't have to worry about pre offing it's just designated to studying. Because of our dedication toward education, we've seen a very strong performance on the annual in-training exam. Uh, this past year, they scored each, each group um, greater than 95th percentile, which is really incredible. And I really think I attribute a lot of that to our faculty mentors and our all-day education days, where we really put a priority toward education. Stony Brook gives you $4,000 to use over your four years of residency. You can use this $4,000 for going to the national conferences, for tablets, for tests. For the CA3s or PGY4s, we use it for licensing. So one of the most challenging things about residency in general is finding a good work-life balance. We have a very pro-resident culture here at Stony Brook where we're able to have a life outside of work as well. There's so many things that I wanted to pursue that they allow me to pursue, and that's not just my MBA, but in terms of research and the leadership opportunities, that went a, a long way for fellowship. There's a lot of CRNAs here, which I think is very helpful. They're great for relief towards the end of the day, and they get us out for different exams or during times where we have to study for different board exams. We offer a lot of wellness activities within our program and within the institution uh, to keep our residents grounded and having both peer support and faculty support. We actually have a GME wellness committee here at Stony Brook 
and we sponsor a variety of events throughout the year. One very popular event is uh, puppy therapy. <laughs> so they bring puppies from outside and the residents can just relax with them. It's always a nice break in the day to participate in those events. Stony Brook has a, a great community here. We hang out as residents on a regular basis. We have barbecues, we have dinners, we have Christmas parties, a lot of fun activities that we can be engaged in. Uh, being a resident at Stony Brook has been a great experience. I made some really great friends here. My co-residents are awesome. I enjoy spending time with them outside of the OR as well. I think what I love the most about Stony Brook is really the amazing mentors that we have here. Faculty is extremely supportive. They're not only fun to work with, but they're all extremely invested in teaching their residents. Our residents have done great with their fellowship matches. Uh, we have residents going to all sorts of programs, um, Penn, Harvard, Hopkins, which are usually very competitive fellowships to get. So even though we are a program that doesn't have fellowships internally, it, these have wonderful opportunities to get wonderful training and fellowships elsewhere, and some of them are really quite, quite competitive. If you look at the history of the Stony Brook residents, you see that we have a great board pass rate. You see that residents go on to get great jobs, great fellowships, um, and that's reflected in the amount of interviews that I've gotten as I pursue my pain fellowship. We talk to the people who've already graduated here, and they say, like, you know, they get out of the program, hit the ground running, like, you know, they're, they're ahead of the curve, essentially, like, they feel very prepared as attendants. Um, and even other fellows, um, you know, people say that, you know, procedurally and clinically, they, they're ahead of uh, fellows from other programs. I feel very, very proud to be a part of this program. And what motivates me is seeing how great these attendings are at what they do and how much they love their job. I'm very confident in the skills I've learned here uh, to carry me through to the my next chapter in life. Uh, to practice independently. You know, I feel comfortable starting cases, finishing them, you know, whatever, whatever situation it is. It just makes me happy to work here, and I think that's really important when choosing a residency program. Coming to Stony Brook, my anesthesia residency was the best decision I made.